Why induction motor cannot run at synchronous speed? Why the rotor of induction motor cannot catch the rotating magnetic field? Why all of this? If you want to know, watch the video till the end. So to understand this thing, let's say the rotor starts rotating at synchronous speed. What will happen then? Once the rotor starts rotating at synchronous speed, you can see here the relative motion between rotating magnetic field and the rotor will become zero. So what? What will happen if the speed, the relative speed between the rotating magnetic field and the rotor becomes zero? So now let's see why the rotor is rotating. Rotor is rotating because it wants to catch the rotating magnetic field. Now why it wants to catch? Because there is some attraction force between the rotating magnetic field and the rotor. Basically, this attraction force is the torque produced by the rotor. So now the question is, why there is attraction force between the rotating magnetic field and the rotor? Because rotor is the electromagnet, there is attraction force between the rotating magnetic field and the rotor. If you just place a wood instead of this rotor, there would not be any electromagnet, right? And when there is no electromagnet, there will not be any attraction force. So because the rotor is electromagnet itself, it is electromagnet, right? So that is why there is attraction force. Now the question is why the rotor is electromagnet? Because we are flowing current through the rotor. Because of this current, a magnetic field is produced and that is why it has become electromagnet. So now the question is why current is flowing through the rotor? The simple answer is because some EMF is induced into that rotor, the current has produced. So because of the induced EMF into the rotor, the current has produced and the process goes on. EMF, then current, then magnetic field, it becomes electromagnet, then attraction force and rotor keeps on rotating. So this is the full process. So now the fundamental reason of rotation of the rotor is induced EMF into the rotor. Now what is the condition of induced EMF? The condition is there has to be a conductor, there has to be a magnetic field and there has to be a relative motion between these two. Or simply there has to be a time varying magnetic field. So this is the condition of induced EMF. So now let's see what happens if the rotor rotates at synchronous speed. Just imagine that our synchronous speed is 1500 rpm. So the rotating magnetic field is rotating at 1500 rpm. And our rotor is also rotating at synchronous speed. So what will be the relative motion between the rotor and rotating magnetic field? 1500 or 0? What do you think? Write the answer in comments below. What do you think the relative motion between RMF and the rotor will be 1500 or 0? Actually, it is 0. Why? See, they both are moving at the same speed. So what will be the relative motion? It will be 0. So when the relative motion between these two is 0, there will not be any induced EMF into the rotor. Why? Because the equation of induced EMF is E is equal to N d phi by dt. And when the relative motion is 0, d phi by dt becomes 0. When the d phi by dt is 0, induced EMF into the rotor will become 0. So fundamentally, there will not be any induced EMF into the rotor if the relative motion will become 0. Now, if there is no induced EMF, there is no current. When there is no current, there will not be any magnetic field. If there is no magnetic field, it will not become electromagnet. If it is not becoming electromagnet, there will not be any attraction force. There will not be any torque and there will not be any motion further. So rotor will fall back. When it is rotating, it will fall back because whatever force we are giving a rotor to rotate, now there is no force and when there is no force, it will fall back. So now naturally, whenever you push the rotor to rotate at synchronous speed, it will naturally fall back. It will not rotate at synchronous speed. Now what happens when it falls back? When it falls back, there is some relative motion between the rotor and rotating magnetic field. Because of this relative motion, there will be induced EMF into the rotor. 
then there will be current into the rotor then it becomes electromagnet there will be attraction force then the rotor will be pushed to catch the rotating magnetic field so this is the reason why a rotor cannot catch the rotating magnetic field or induction motor cannot run at synchronous speed if you want to find other interesting answers of the tricky electrical question you can refer all these videos right you can watch these videos and learn from this for your viva preparation and for your interview preparation so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye